this Diverge Fitness podcast, we're going to be discussing what to do once you start to eliminate the high fructose corn syrup from your diet. Again, this was a topic from last week, and thank you all for writing in about this, and we thank all of our clients for the positive comments concerning the topic. As you start to eliminate it, one, high fructose corn syrup is a very addictive product, so it's not something that you're going to be able to knock out probably the first day. The first thing to do is to eliminate it from your diet. You want to do this by looking at food labels and then at that point replacing those products in the diet with other products. One thing that you have to do is you have to take a product containing R-lipoic acid. Now we use here what's called mitochondrial energy optimizer. This has R-lipoic acid as well as luteolin and then acetyl L-carnitine. So you're going to want to group acetyl L-carnitine and our lipoic acid together. As I said here, we use the mitochondrial energy optimizer. If you buy this product at Vitamin Shop, something somewhere of that nature, or if you buy it from us, I want to, to go ahead and warn you, it is a very expensive product, but it has a specific purpose. Increasing the energy effects of the mitochondria within the cell. So it's a very, very important product. Also, in replacing the high fructose corn syrups, you're going to need to add fiber to your diet. Now, as you know, we use here the Vega Complete uh, Health Food Optimizer. You could also get the fiber in your diet with broccoli, cauliflower, something of that nature, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. Again, replace the high fructose corn syrups with these products in order to increase your fiber intake and eliminate the addictive effects of the high fructose corn syrup from your body. Do all of these things, document them. Within a week, getting off of the high fructose corn syrup, you should feel less bloated, you should have more energy, and again, you'll eliminate this addictive product from your body that we know contributes to obesity. Thank you.